Hey everyone and welcome back to part 7 of the Shogun campaign playthrough for Kingdom Two Crowns. Last time we just had a blood moon to deal with, presumably because of our lunatic ninja who just went and destroyed a portal. But that does mean that we've got one less portal to worry about, so I suppose we can thank him for that. Maybe just not to his face. So we're going to start off this time by just uh, recruiting a few more people, head out into the depths, because so I think there's another camp, there it is, not too far from us, so we'll get these two fellas. Ugh. Make your mind up! The AI on those can be a little bit dodgy. But it's fine, they still get recruited. Oh look. Wouldn't want our dog to get grabbed. So this farm is probably just going to wither away to nothing because we've got our farmers working elsewhere. You can see him underneath there. But that is our upgraded Ronin. Samurai, that's the word. Not Shinobi. Shinobi is the ninja. Getting mixed up with all these terms. That was a bit of googling whilst uh, we wait around. Okay, so one samurai down. And we still have one more ronin who hasn't been upgraded. So we'll do that after this night has cleared, and then we need to start thinking about getting some more, so we can send them out and destroy portals. Our outer walls, I think, are... Oh, has he run out of ninja juice? Have some more. We can probably grab another farmer, or two because there is still plenty of space on that side of the, uh, on the right hand side where that farm is. And we've got more than enough people, so we'll pay for that. Get a few more, uh, a few more archers, and then we'll think about getting another squire. Not squire, Ronan. These guys have already given us one set, so that's very nice. He's going to go get his upgrade. We should fully upgrade these walls out here though. Final level to get it to iron. And then we're pretty much as prepared as we can be. Well, I say that, but we definitely should build up the, um, the archery towers. definitely going to need, well, maybe not need the archery towers, but they'll come in handy when we have to deal with floaters. But we obviously have to get those upgraded to the the roofed triplets, which are like level 4 or 5 of the tower. I think it's 5. That takes a little while to do, so um, we're not going to have that straight away. I don't think we're going to need it for the next retaliation wave. So we'll uh, focus more on getting people recruited and getting ready to send out our people. To be honest, one fella, one set of archers is probably more than enough to deal with it at this point anyway. So now that he's been upgraded, he's also got a lot more hunger for coins. Not too much. He knows when to be greedy and when not to. One of the other things that got updated with the uh, Never Alone update is the Knight statue. So that's going to be one to check out on the fifth island. and should actually be quite good, because before they used to be a little bit suicidal. 
but now they're supposedly um, not suicidal and they just have a higher attack rate and can carry a few more coins, both of which will be beneficial. to do on this island, uh, not much to do on this side of the island other than wait. Need a few more coins, we'll head out and recruit some more people at the start of the next day and I don't think we'll be able to reach the ones on the right hand side in time for them to reach our base so we'll just do the ones on the left hand side and then make sure we recruit whoever comes up in this camp here, like that fella. Hopefully we're going to be able to see just off the screen if the ninjas start acting. Oh, there you go. And they are pretty crazy. So they jump into action as soon as the final greed of the wave is a little bit in front of them. That way they don't end up jumping out the first ones and just getting themselves killed, which is very handy. And clearly they can do quite a bit of damage. Or, well, they one guy blew up a portal by himself, so enough to not get taken down by that. So distracted with them that I've forgotten I'm heading out this way. So here we have our two more people to recruit. That time they were very happy to get recruited rather than messing around for a little bit. Might as well grab a deer whilst we're out here. So there's no real necessity to only take out the portals on one side of the island, uh, first at least, but it will benefit the defences if we take out all the portals on the right hand side first, uh, so the dock side of the island, and it means we'll, no, don't, you take those back. So if we take out all the portals on the right hand side, then it means we only have to have strong defence on the left hand side and won't have to worry about where the blood moon's coming from because it can only be from the left hand side at that point. Which is why we're going to go that way. Could knock down one portal at a time on each side but it just seems like a bit of a waste. Too many coins. Nah, don't need to do that yet. I think we'll just send out this one samurai by himself when daybreak hits. Should be fine to take out. Um, should be fine to take out a portal by himself. They do have the archery statue to help him out. See if we can deposit a few more with this fella before nightfall, as we now have too many coins. guy recruited now and we'll also see if we can get him upgraded straight away. I mean might as well we've got the coins. That way we can be sure that the portal that we attack on the right hand side will go down very quickly. Doesn't seem overly interested.
plenty of coins again. And still at a point where we're not really hassled by these guys. Yeah, we'll just send out the one. The other guy's off getting his samurai license, so we'll uh, leave him to do that. I was going to clear some trees then, but I think I'll focus on our main event. This way we can see how quickly one samurai and was it one, two, three, four, four archers, maybe five. Hard to see when they're all stacked on top of each other. But it is something I should probably remember. Um, but yeah, we can see how quickly they can destroy a portal by themselves. I think it's going to be pretty quickly. Don't think they've got much further to go. No, right here. There's no real need to be here for this because there's not a lot I can do as the stag, but it's nice to watch and see how well they can do. So you can see they're wrecking that portal pretty quickly. Not taking much time at all for them to take it out. But obviously it would have already been done if there were two of them. But it's only been enough time for five Greedlings to spawn, so it's really not been an issue. Maybe make that six. And there we go. Just restock that guy on his coins. He only lost, well, he lost a couple, but I re restocked him as he went. I'll just keep an eye out, make sure the greed don't spawn on this side. Oh, for a second there, I thought I'd lost the dog. Still with us. No barking yet though, so I can only assume that means the uh, Blood Moon retaliation hasn't come out yet. Very weird. I assume it came on the left hand side and the dog probably has some sort of proximity. see that's now I was about to send them out but the day and night cycle gets a little bit um, messed up when there's a blood moon so fortunately didn't but we will send them out straight away on this next wave because we want to clear the portals as much as possible hopefully clear one if not two more by the end of this part and then we can just focus on the left hand side next time No sign of any greed though. It may be a mistake to uh, send these guys out at this point. Oh, are you kidding me? Why are you barking now? That's annoying. Yep, here they come. Hopefully I'm... Oh, they're all running away anyway. Okay. Everything went better than expected. I am just going to leave them to that. Because I want to make sure that the left hand side hasn't been destroyed. I 
I doubt it has, but yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry. Would want to uh, use the time to rebuild those walls if necessary. And we'll probably be able to catch up to our uh, samurai again before they reach the portal anyway. Because we only need to go to here. So yeah, you can see beyond this wall here it still extends, so clearly there's still some people alive. Get a little bit of a stamina buff because uh, we want to catch up to our fellas and not run out of breath. This is going to be a bit of a dodgy one. If it spawns on the right hand side, the uh, retaliation blood moon, then these guys might not make it back in time. But I do have my uh, full pouch of coins which will hopefully be enough to pay off the retaliation wave in full, or at least enough to cover their retreat. They've just made it here, I assume, because the portal's not dead yet. These guys are losing a lot of coins. Oh, this is a night attack. See, that's the other issue with it being quite far out. They managed to do that all quite convincingly, which is nice. So yeah, now I just need to cover their retreat. Not going to bother restocking their coins just yet because um, that's probably it's probably better to save the coins for paying off any greed. So now we know if we want to take out the final portal, they will have to deal with at least one night attack along the way. It's probably not best to try and time it to a blood moon because we don't know how long that's uh, going to be before we have another blood moon. So instead, we'll probably just head out with a full set of coins and pay off the night, uh, pay off the night attack as much as possible, just to make sure our guys survive. Might be best to spend a day just, I don't know, chilling out. Don't want to. Um, don't want to have some weird bug with night time and blood moons happening and end up losing everyone. No word from our official greed lookout of the dog yet though. And we've hit the next day. So we can assume that the left hand side dealt with that one again. Good for them. But there's still some stars in the sky looking pretty dodgy. We'll just wait this one out, go and recruit some people. Heck, we can even build the boat. Thanks to our ridiculous amount of income from these farmers, we don't really have to worry about running out of coins for now. That is crazy, going to pay for more of the boat, because I'm sure the left hand side hunters will also have some coins for us, so we can grab those on our way back.
and success. These walls are still up, so that's a good sign. Don't know what state our ninjas are in over here, but we definitely should have come and done some recruiting. some more people but probably not a good idea people lying around so we'll get ourselves one more samurai oh, I don't want your coins oh, now he's run away rude of him okay so we will don't need your coins uh, we will wait for this night attack to clear and we'll head out straight away. Make sure these guys are all stocked up, which they weren't quite. show on the road. Wish I could bring that ninja with us. Destroying this portal will once again mean that we only have to defend the left hand side from now on. Plus it means we can build the uh, we can build the lighthouse. Not that we're going to get any use out of it because I don't think we're going to need to come back to the fourth island after we've destroyed everything. But it's uh, something good to know. we can enjoy some nice soothing music along the way. So the night attack will probably come out of the portal quite early on because it's got a long way to go to reach our walls. And there is our first sign of them, so let's just... Uh with our fellas, wait till we see the first ones, start paying off coins like that. That's just not quite the right point, it should be fine. Wonderful. Actually ended up with more coins out of that, because I think a couple of deer got killed in the fray.
The only thing we really have to worry about with this portal is whether or not our samurai decide to stand too close and get themselves hit a bit. Other than that, it's like any other portal, just with a bit more health. Oh, that guy's probably going to get hit. He didn't do great on his samurai exam, but like a C plus. Good enough, but still stands a little too close for, for comfort. the annoying thing with this one is that you don't get any real indication of when the portal is going to be destroyed at least with the regular ones you have bits of it falling off but with that one it's just it looks perfectly normal until it's gone so we'll just get back to our town center make sure the left hand side has survived the attack and that will be it I'd call that pretty successful Just a little bit further, and we can graze. These guys are all getting a little bit adventurous. Still got a ninja. Don't know why we wouldn't, we're still on this side. More money than sense at the moment. And our left hand walls are still up. Bit of an anti climax to end it on. But that is where we're going to finish it. So that is everything for this time. If you're looking for more tips and guides, then check out some of my other videos. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.